Hello, welcome to Driving School Tutorial. My name is Frank. So today we are going to answer these questions together, uh, you know, concerning pattern to B. Uh, but please don't forget the explanations might, might be faster than usual. This is because uh, I need to answer and explain them at a given time. Don't forget we have uh, 30 questions to answer under 20 minutes. So please bear with me if I'm a little bit faster. Okay, thank you. So number one question said, Nelligrotio rappresentato nella figura I conducente del veicolo A alla destra libera. Veicolo A, no, fa so the right hand. The question is saying that in this figure here, represented here, that vehicle A has its right hand free, which is not true because vehicle A is having its right hand occupied. Please, if you understand this, uh, you know, encourage you leave your comment at the comment section on how, uh, you know, the order of the of uh, passage of this uh, section is. Thank you. So the answer is first. So number two says, uh, is segnale raffigurato indica l'obbligo di prosegure diritto? No, this sign is obliging you to turn right and not to continue straight. So the answer is first. So <coughs> Sorry. Number two, number three said, Se i carico sporge longitudinamente per l'intera larghezza della parte posteriore del veicolo, si devono applicare due pannelli eh, retroriflettenti in figura. No, this one is a sign, um, you know, uh, that indicates a uh, remorchio and semi-remorchio. So it's not, uh, you know, for carico sporgente. So the answer is fast. The number four says, Il segnale raffigurato fa parte dei segnali di precedenza. No, this is an indication sign. So it's not part of a, you know, a precedence sign. So the answer is falso. Then number five says, La patente AM conseguito da almeno tre anni abilita la guida dei motocicli eh, di potenza fino a... 11 kilo, kilowatt. No, the answer is fast. So, patent AM does not allow you to drive motorcycles, uh, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, 11 kilowatt. I think uh, and then um, the license that can allow you to drive that one is pat patent A1 and uh, patent A. So, the answer is fast. So, then um, number six says, in caso di sinistro con Danny a veicolo, la richiesta di risarcimento diretto deve essere obbligatoriamente corredata di fotografia. No, it is not true that maybe in case of accident happen, you know, uh, maybe on the road that, you know, the uh, payback of damage is need to follow up with, uh, you know, some photos. So the answer is fast. So then number seven said, il segnale raffigurato preannuncia i Probabile attraversamento di animali salvatici. Yes, it's true. This sign is a warning sign that is telling you that in 150 meters time, there is uh, there is a possibility of, you know, um, coming across all those, uh, um, uh, you know, um, bush animals. You know, or how do they call it? Yes, animali salvatici. So the answer is uh, vero. Then the number eight said, il segnale raffigurato indica che è obbligatorio montare gli pneumatici in venale. No, it is not true. This stevio is telling you that, you know, that road is closed. So it is not obliging you to, to fix the, you know, winter tire. The answer is fast. One well, number Now it says, in presenza di segnale raffigurato è necessario regolare la velocità in relazione alla visibilità e al raggio del, delle curve. It's true. In the presence of this sign, this is a sign that is telling you that you have double, double curve or series of curve. So it's telling you, uh, you know, you need to moderate your veloci velocity according to the bending and also the, uh, the view of the, of the of visibility of the road. So the answer is very Number 10 said, is uh, sorry, per svoltare a sinistra, per svoltare a sinistra bisogna girare intorno al centro dell'incrocio come i veicoli in figura. No, it is not true that to turn left, you need to turn around, uh, you know, that uh, um, uh, spot, just like the way all these vehicles are. 
I know it is not correct. The answer is far so. Please, if you want to understand that junction very well, all those things, or a deep, if you want to have a deeper understanding of this, uh, uh, you know, um, explanations and the rest, you can join our Zoom classes. You know, don't forget you have two days of free classes. So, number eleven says, "Quando vedete su teto di un auto della polizia un display con la scritta luminosa incidente significa che." Uh, quella zona è ad alto rischio di incidente. No, it is not true that when you see a write up on top of the police vehicle uh, which is written incidente, it means that that place is uh, at high risk of accident. No, it means that there is accident uh, that just happened in that place. So you need to moderate your velocity and pay attention. So the answer is faster. Number 12 says, il segnale raffigurato preannuncia un tratto di strada nel quale aumenta lo spazio di frenatura del veicolo. No, this one is a sign that is indicating he. Uh, so it is not true that when you are climbing he that the the um, the uh, space, um, the bra braking space of vehicle increase. No, it reduces. So the answer is fast. So la striscia bianca trasversale in figura indica il punto in cui i conducente devono arrestarsi in presenza del segnale fermarsi e dare precedenza stop. Yes, in the, this uh, transverse line is a, a spot or a point where you need to stop your car to give right of way if it is written uh, stop and also dare uh, precedenza. So the answer is zero. Then... Uh, Sorry, if you have the stop and direct precedence in that place. So the answer is zero. Then number 14 says, Nella fase di sorpasso, il conducente è tenuto a mantenere il più a lungo possibile nella corsia di sorpasso. No, it is not true that during overtaking, you need to maintain as long as possible, you know, the, uh, the uh, lane of, uh, the overtaking lane. It's not true. You need to, after you must have overtaken the vehicle you want to overtake, then you, you need to return to your normal lane of circulation. So the answer is fast. So number 15 says, Is segnale raffigurato indica un divieto di transito agli autobus? No, this is a sign that is indicating bus stop. It is not indicating prohibition of transit to buses. So the answer is fast. So number 16 says, in presenza del segnale raffigurato è vietato superare la velocità di 80 km orario. Yes, it is true. This is a prohibition sign that prohibits you to go above 80 km per hour in that particular stretch of road where the sign is placed. So the answer is zero. Number 17 says, secondo le norme di precedenza nell'incrocio rappresentata in figura, il veicolo R deve attendere il transito del veicolo E e N. That is to say, in, uh, according to rules of uh, you know, uh, precedence in intersection, ve vehicle R need to uh, wait to the transit of vehicle E and N. Okay, vehicle R to wait for E and N. Da, da, da. Yes, it is true. Please, if you if you know the order of you know order of passage of this uh, intersection, please leave the comments at the comment section just to indicate the order of passage. And if you want to understand how the order of passage is, please join our Zoom uh, tutorial. You have two days of free classes because here I cannot, I don't have the materials to be able to explain it, and it's something that I need to explain in detail. So. But if you know it, just leave your comment at the comment section. And if you want to know, uh, know it or understand it, join our Zoom classes. If you are already in our Zoom classes, don't worry, be patient. We'll get there very soon. So the answer is zero. Number 18 said, Il segnale raffigurato vieta la svolta a destra. No, it is not true. This is a sign that is telling you that the road by the right side is a closed street. Or road. So it means that if you enter the, the road is not linked to any other place. So that is the same way you need to come out of it. So it is not prohibiting you to turn um, right. Rather, it's only telling you that it's a closed street. So the answer is fast. So when number 19 said, in semaphore in figura, le frecce verdi 
a chese sorry nei semafori in figura le frecce verdi accese indicano la, le direzioni verso le quali si può proseguire eh, verde yes the answer is true in this uh, uh, you know traffic light here when the green light is on it indicates the direction you need to go which means if this, the one that is you know going straight is uh, on it means that you can only go straight if the one that is going left is on it means that you can only go left so the answer is true vero um la striscia bianca trasversale in figura indica inizio de divieto di sosta no it is not true this is uh, you know a, a, a sign that is indicating the transverse line where you need to uh, stop in case of maybe the traffic light is red or maybe the the Maybe the traffic agent is giving you the stop sign or you are having a stop and give right of way. So the answer is fast. So then the number 21 question said, I visually disposto con le braccia aperte. Sorry. I visually disposto con le braccia ad angolo retto come in figura consente di svoltare a destra ai veicoli che arrivano dalla sua destra. Uh, no. It is not true, and please, this is this uh, position position the vigil. If you are already in our class, be patient because we'll get there very soon, and you are going to understand the way you know. Uh, the way uh, we I'm I'm going to make sure you understand, you know, the way vigil position yourself. You know how you can be able to navigate yourself through every question that has to do with positioning the vigil. But if you are not in our class, please, you can join us so that you have a, bit, a better understanding of it. So this answer is far so it's not true because, um, the, you know, the vehicles coming from the uh, right hand, where is it? Uh, Evidently disposto con le braccia ad angolo retto come in figura consente di svoltare a destra ai veicoli che arrivano dalla sua destra. No, it's not, uh, you know, permitted for those vehicles coming from his right hand to turn uh, um, right. So the answer is fast. Okay. Number 22 says, è obbligatorio ridurre la velocità eh, e all'occorrenza fermarsi quando riesce ma, ma leggevole, leggevole all'incrocio con altri veicoli. Yes, you are obliged to reduce your velocity and stop maybe in case you come you know um across other vehicles in that intersection the answer is zero number 23 said in presenza de segnale raffigurato bisogna moderare la velocità per potersi eh, all'occorrenza fermare yes it is true because this is you know a, a danger warning sign that is indicating to you that in 150 meters time you have a traffic light so you need to moderate your velocity so in case you are having a stop sign uh, sorry a red light so that you can stop the answer is zero in presence of the scenario figure to be moderate la velocità per potersi all'occorrenza fermarsi vero so number 24 said il segnale raffigurato indica la fine del divieto di uh, di sorpasso prece precedentemente imposto yes this sign is the end of a, a prohibition of overtaking that was previously given to all those vehicles that are more than uh, those vehicles uh, carrying goods that are more than two uh, three point five tons. So it means that the prohibition of overtaking previously given to them is finished. So the answer is zero. Number twenty five said, "Il limite massimo di velocità sulle autostrade è ordinar ordinariamente di." 130 km radio per i motocicli. Yes, don't forget that motorcycles and normal car they in autostrada they respect the same limit, which is ordinarily 130 km per hour. The answer is zero. And please, at the comment section, do me a favor, give me the uh, write the comment of the uh, you know um ordinary speed limit of motorcycles in strada extra urbana secondaria at the comment section thank you so the answer is zero to this one then number 26 says e semaforo in figura consente di impegnare le corsie indicata 
della freccia verde. È vero, this is a reversible traffic light that indicate to you anywhere the, the yellow light is, sorry, the green light is pointing, that is the lane that you need to, you know, occupy. But anywhere the yellow, the yellow light is pointing, is telling you to leave that place. Where the red light is, uh, you know, pointing, it means that you cannot transit in that lane. So the answer is vero. Number 27 said, I conducente deve regolare la velocità in modo da non costituire disordine per la cer circolazione. Yes, it's true. It's the, um, as a driver, you need to, um, you know, moderate your velocity in a way not to, you know, um, cost constitute disorder, uh, disorderliness, uh, you know, in, uh, in circulation or in order not to cause obstruction to circulation or in order not to... Now, example of it is this. You don't need to, you know, um, travel in a velocity, for example, that is too low, you understand, without a justified motive. Or maybe you are going too high, you understand, with a speed that is too high. So that is what they are trying to say. You need, you need to move in a moderate velocity, you understand, not too high, not too low. So the answer is vero. Number 28 said... Nella carreggiata a doppio senso di circolazione, eh, sorry, nella carreggiata a doppio senso di circolazione, la striscia di mezzo in figura può essere superata con le sole ruote di sinistro. No, it's not true that the middle line in this uh, road or is the, in this double way road can be, you know, um, can be invaded by only your left tire. So the answer is faso. Nella carreggiata a doppio senso di circolazione, la striscia di mezzo in figura può essere superata con le sole ruote di okay, sinistra. No, è falso. The answer is falso. Number 29 says, secondo le norme di precedenza nell'incrocio rappresentata in figura, il veicolo C non deve dare la precedenza a, ad alcun veicolo. Veicolo C non deve... No, falso. Please, still do me a favor if you understand the... Order of passage in this number 29, leave it at the conversation, but the answer is FASO. The reason I'm not explaining this one in detail is because it's something that I need to, you know, um, show us. I need to uh, provide some materials to be able to, uh, you know, show it to us. So that is why uh, those of us who already understand it, leave your leave the order of passage at the conversation. If you don't understand it, be patient. We'll get there very soon. And those of us who are not in our Zoom uh, classes, like I said, Earlier, please join our Zoom classes. You have two days of free classes so that you can enjoy the benefit of this explanation. So, the answer here we said is fast. So, the number 30 said, I conducente che si accorga che il suo veicolo ha forti perdita di olio o carburante deve immediatamente avvisare l'ente proprietario della strada o gli organi di polizia. Vero. Any driver that maybe you know that your vehicle is uh, losing too much of oil or too much of uh, uh, fuel or whatsoever, you need to immediately inform the, the police or the, the owner of the road. So the answer is fair. Please, guys, the reason I'm trying to explain these things, uh, these questions in a hurry is because I need to respect the time, though I'm able to finish this one in... 18 minutes but you know in most cases i need to be very uh, fast you understand in my explanation so let us go and see the you know the outcome of the result okay let us submit and see okay so i i answered uh written correctly so you can see it we have in very you know green 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 so guys do me a favor make sure you like this video share it uh, with your friends please leave your comment at the comment section this is a way that you can also encourage me thank you